How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to go over Amazon Prime. Um, Amazon Prime is a video streaming service that comes stocked on the Kindle Fire HD. It is uh, Amazon's own uh, video service. Now I've done some videos on Netflix. I've done some videos on Hulu. I've done videos on TubeMate, how to download videos from YouTube. This is the, the, the last video in the series in terms of just how to stream and watch uh, videos on your Kindle Fire HD. Uh, this is a, uh, a really awesome app. Let me go ahead and go to it. Go to videos and it takes you right to Amazon Prime. Now the benefit of this is um, you get to watch first run movies right on your Kindle Fire HD. Now Hulu gives you first run TV shows as soon as the next day the show has been aired you can watch it. Well on here any movie that's been released on DVD um, and in some cases Amazon Prime will even get exclusively a couple of days or weeks before it comes out on DVD um, you'll be able to watch the video on here uh, by streaming or you can actually buy the movie for example the Avengers is on here if I tap on it um, I can rent it in standard definition I can rent it in HD I can also buy it the standard version for $14.99 or I can buy the HD version for $19.99 so you get four different options here if you rent it you get to watch it for a period of time I believe it's as soon as you start watching the movie you have 14 days to finish the movie or once you have finished watching the movie all the way through, um, what is it? No, I think it's once you start the movie, you have 48 hours to watch the movie, pretty much, something like that. Um, don't quote me 100% on that. Um, let's see if maybe it shows you. It does not show you on here. And I don't want to rent that one and then lose my money. But, um,. From what I understand, it gives you 48 hours to watch the movie after you have started the movie. So once you've started watching it, you get 48 hours. Now you have up, I think you have up to 14 days to start watching the movie and then that, that, that 48 hour period will start. So um, it's really cool for renting. Keep in mind the Kindle Fire does have um, an, a micro... Uh, HDMI port so you can plug this up right to your TV and you can see it in a nice beautiful picture in HD so if you want to rent the HD version that's where that would come in handy uh, also if you were to buy it it will download it onto the Kindle for you so when you don't have an internet connection you can still watch your movies so that's where this comes in handy all those different video streaming services all do something different where Netflix is is movies three months older or later uh, Amazon Prime is going to be newer movies. Now, Amazon Prime does have some older movies too, but it more focuses on the newer first run movies that have first come out. Hulu is first run TV shows. Uh, excuse me, YouTube has a variety of, of you know homemade videos and clips, but for full movies and full new movies, you want to do Amazon Prime. Now, if you're an Amazon Prime member and to become a member, um, when you buy the Kindle, they actually give you like a 30-day trial to try it out. And you get like free two-day shipping. You get a couple of free books a month. Um, you pay like, I think, $72 for the year if you want to become a permanent Prime member for the whole year. And so you actually get access to a lot of movies for being a Prime member. Now, uh, let me see if I can pull up that library where all the Prime videos are. Let's see, I went to the library and there is no, because I haven't downloaded any videos, so that's cool. We want to scroll down here, and let me actually go back to videos, because right now I'm still in Avengers. So right here, where it says Prime Instant Video, this is just a list of uh, some of the TV shows and movies that are available on Amazon Prime. Okay, so... Those are prime videos there. You can type in here and search a video. Uh, and then the top here, these are like the featured movies that are on right now. Hunger Games and Friends, the TV show. So it's first run movies and TV shows. Uh, if you're going to do TV shows, I do recommend uh, Hulu over this because it's a one-time fee for you get to watch just about everything. Um, so what I have found out about the prime video uh, list I, I wasn't really impressed by the movies that were in there I when I got my Kindle I had my 30-day trial to look through and kind of see what was in there and I didn't really find a lot of the kind of movies I wanted to see I feel like Netflix's library is a lot bigger 
um, but it did have a good mix of some of the newer uh, programming so that's kind of where you got to weigh out if the shows you like are even in that option because if it's not it may not be worth paying that 72 bucks for the year now one of the best parts about paying that 72 dollars is that you do get uh two-day shipping on a lot of things on amazon so when i had that i was definitely milking that because two-day shipping is awesome not having to wait two weeks to buy something or to get your what you ordered is definitely uh, a lot funner um these are movies right here that anybody can rent or own. And so like the, the Cinderella, Madagascar, all these are movies that you could rent or you could purchase and you could do it in HD or non-HD. Uh, for example, if we tap on Cinderella here, this one only has an option to buy. So as you can see, all the movies will not be available for rent. And this one you can only buy in HD. So that just tells you right there, you got to be ready to fork over some money for that one. Uh, let's see, Wrath of the Titans. This one is available in all four, rent and buy, and HD and non-HD. Um, yeah, so this is Prime in a nutshell. This comes stock on the Kindle Fire HD, so feel free to look through it. See if you find a lot of the things that you watch. That's the important thing. If there's not a lot of shows that you watch, then this could end up being a waste of money for you. So I personally prefer... To do Netflix and Hulu and then every now and then if there's a new movie I want to see I will buy or rent it on Amazon Prime but uh, I am not a Prime member. Now this is pretty cool. It has a lot of old school movies right here like you know uh, Man of the House and um, what is this Patch Adams next Friday. So there, there is a good mix of old and new. Um, but I still feel like the library can be a little limiting. So, but I mean, that's just only my opinion. Now, you know, you should definitely get in here and look through and see what they have. And you may say, hey, I love all these movies and then it'll be worth it for you to have that service. But Amazon Prime cannot be paid for on a monthly scale. It's got to be paid for on a yearly scale. So keep that in mind. You'd be ready to make that $72 investment. If, my, if that number is off, forgive me, but last time I checked it was $72. So if you're a student, they do offer a uh, student discount. I think it's like half that you pay to be a Prime member. So students definitely take advantage of that. And this has been Amazon Prime on the Kindle Fire HD. So hope you found this helpful. Go ahead and subscribe to H2 Tech videos. If you found the video helpful, go ahead and like the video. And keep watching H2 Tech videos. Alright? Have a good one.